Alright, we are back for more glory. I may just end up playing this whole game today, I don't know. I think there's at least one more wraith around here somewhere. I could be wrong. But I think there is... another wraith. Necrotar. Uh-oh, I didn't rest. Well, the axe is useful. Ow. Yep, now I'm taking hits from my health because I'm out of energy. Ow. Die. Die, horrid beastie. Die. There we go. Let's rest a minute. Or 60 of them. After. There we go. How's the night going? Eh, we got we got time to rest another hour. After. I know there's at least one more wraith round hereabouts. There we go. Oops. Oops. Ha ha. Nope, too slow. No, I hit the button. I hit the button. This isn't cool. Ow. Stop it. Stop that. That's cheap, you cheating son of a biscuit. Stop it! I'm actually gonna die here. Yep. Let's see what it says. The wraith sucked your life force right out of you. Should you return in another life, you'll need to be properly protected and strike quickly. Alright. Bite me, game. You feel it? That feels... Alright. This time, let's see if we can't get close and ow enough. Son of a biscuit. Go! Go! No! I don't want to replay of last time. I do not. One. There we go. Finally. Take that, jerk face. The wraith. Yes, we same thing everything every wraith says. The barrow contains treasure. Yes. You find a diamond studded brooch, a healing potion, and fifteen gold crowns. Yay! Awesome sauce! Alright, we're coming up on a part of the game that I do not remember from heart. I do not remember this maze like labyrinth of building I'm about to enter. You feel it? Oh god, another one? Oops. Stop it! Ow, almost. Stop that! Stop it! He's knocked me all the way back! Bull spit! Hurry up and die. I don't care. Victory! Uh oh. That's not good. The game seems to have glitched out. There we go. Oh, that wasn't good. Check in the mound. Dude. You see a. The barrow contains. Yes. You find a jewel studded tiara, six gold crowns, forty kopecks, and a few old bones. Alright. After you're getting it's midnight. Where am I? Is this what I'm looking for? Nope. Oops. Probably not what I'm looking for. Is this what I'm looking for? Nope. Hello. Oh, 
man. There would be another enemy. Revenant this time. Pathetically easy. More like, more or less a zombie. Should drain on my, uh, and he has a few Kopecks on him if I remember correctly. You find some copper. Yep, copper Kopex on the no longer undead. Sorry about that. After. How's the night doing? Half over? Yep, a little more than half over. All right, where are my keys? There are my keys. You turn the large skeleton key in the crypt door. With a sound like the groaning of an undead spirit, the massive door yawns wide open. Uh, I yawn. You are in a dark, dank crypt, filled with bas-relief figures of long-departed knights and statues of the Grim Reaper. Stairs lead back up to the entrance. A brightly colored copy of the Borgov crest adorns part of the floor. Borgov, huh? Borgov. Blue, B, O, orange, R, red, B, O, R, green, G, O, orange again, and then V, violet. Dun, 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 dun. A small key from the crest opens a lock in the relief. You open the coffin lid to reveal a dark passageway leading deep into the mountainside. Happy times! After following the dark passage for several minutes, you come out into a castle chamber. The bookcase closes behind you, and there is no obvious way to open it again. Oh dear! Well then, I'd better save. Yes, I had. That didn't do it. That did. How do I open the door then, please? The door hinges squeak in protest. Oh yeah. The doors here are all rusty. Oil. You hear voices beyond the upper door. Two people seem to be having an argument in the next room. Aha! And if you don't have oil for the hinges... You carefully oil the door hinges to prevent revealing squeaks. You die when you open the door. I could show the death, but it's just you get zapped. You carefully open the door just a little so you can hear better and look through the crack. Hmm. Everything is going according Whoa. to plan. Hair. My plan. I am not interested in your petty revenge scheme. You cannot trust him. He will attempt to destroy you the moment he realizes what you truly are. No, he is already attracted to me. I want him to act from his own free will and not be some puppet whose string I hold. After all, if I only wanted a puppet, I could have used you. There will come the day, Katrina, when I will be the Dark Master and you will be only a member. <laughs> you would love to destroy me, wouldn't you? You hated me from the moment we met. But you thought you could use me, didn't you? You were blinded by your own ego. I've always been your master, and you, my mere apprentice. <laughs> I will have my revenge. On whom? The hero or myself? They don't like each other. Both of you. <laughs> oh, it is so easy to make you lose your temper. That is why you will never be the Dark Master. You let your overwhelming pride override your thinking. The music's interfering with the talking. Alrighty. Well then, I can't remember if they'd go away after this or not, so I'm going to go ahead and save again. And then I'm going to open the door. Ignoring the voices, oh, you fling the door open and stride through... I'm glad the I saved. Parking. The door's rusty hinges give out a squeak as you open it. Bull Pucky, I uh, oiled them. Oh, they're not there. What do you know? How many healing potions?
choices do I have? I have five. That view. I have four. Oct Enough already. I don't think I have to worry about them anymore, but... Carefully oil the door's slightly rusty hinges. Yep. Open it. Uh-oh. It's almost as if I knew this would happen. Yay! No hits. I didn't get hit once. I'm awesome that way. Finally, the wraith vanishes under the force of your onslaught. Its ties to this world severed at last. Yay! The chest is locked. Kablooey! You got the chest open, but set off an explosion in the process. The chest was trapped. Ow! In the chest, you find a small flask labeled Healing and 25 crowns. Pretty nice for a few minutes' work. Indeed. This probably isn't at the top of your list of safe places to sleep. Ah, nope, can't sleep tonight here. Apparently I have to oil the hinges every single time I want to use them. Spooky spook. You shiver as the ghost passes through you. A cold chill remains behind. <sighs> you put your ear up against the door and listen. I don't hear anything. I think this is trapped too. The chest is locked. Kablooey! You got the chest open? Take the same thing you said before. The pouch in the safe. The safe also contains several papers and some old clothes, but they have deteriorated with age and are worthless. So you leave them. The door. You put your ear up against the door and... You don't hear anything. Peering through the keyhole, you see no threatening activity on the other side of the door. Awesome. I am now very going to be very lost. The door... I think it's safe to this sleep would here. Not... No, it would not. Okay. There's a bench to rest on if I need it. The door hinges squeak. There's a puzzle here, but I don't remember how to solve There's it. Something strange about the volumes of Tobin's Spirit Encyclopedia. Tobin's Spirit Guide. Subtitled Guy. To Pass Beyond the Veil. Oh, this is easy. E X I T. No? Yes. Oh, great. There we go, that's how you get back there. Wait, this isn't where I was. That wasn't where I was at all. I are confused now. Okay, um, how's my night doing? There's no night left. You can die of exhaustion in this game. Is this a stairway? No, it's not a stairway. I am very, very lost. I know where I am now. Yes, yes, the door hinges squeal in protest. 
Come on, stairwell. Whoa! You hear something? I thought I heard something. You hear voices at the bottom of the stairs. What? Orcs? I would like to listen to the orcs. I don't want to reveal myself. Boring. There we go. Uh, this is definitely boring. Hey, dungeons is always guarded, and we's the guards. But why guard a dungeon when there's no one in there? We got to guard something, don't we? Else we don't got the job. Eh, well, it's still boring. Okay. I don't like them. <laughs> the match is really something, ain't she? Yeah. I even likes the kid. Shame they keep her all the way on the other side of the castle. So I'm in the wrong end of the castle yeah. for what I'm looking for. It's the Anabees guy I can't stand. He looks at us like we was fooled or something. You got it. That guy gives me the creeps. The door hinges. Yes, yes. I think I better try to get out of here for now, just so while there's it's still some straight. night left. E X I T. Hurry up, man. Thank you. Open door. Uh oh. I didn't even pay attention. This is what I get for not paying attention. Die, 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 die! <laughs> Poisonous little buggers. The only. Open the door. I think you can miss one night's sleep and not suffer too much hinges. for it. Alright. Candle. You reach up to put the candle back. Put the candle the back! Candle. <laughs> you move it. A secret passage opens up behind the bookshelf. Uh, that made me miss my stream. I wish I could still do my stream. But this internet connection just won't handle it for some reason. As you shake hands with the Grim Reaper statue, the door at the top of the stairs opens. You quickly make your escape from the deadly crypt. Well, it's not particularly deadly. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, I didn't find what I intended, but let's get back to town. If we can survive the night. Yeah, there's nothing here that can stop me, even at low health. Where's my grapnel? You catch the top of the gate with your grapnel. I've already seen that. Let's return to our room. Hey, Domovoye, are you out there? Of course you are. You see that the Domovoy is here again. It doesn't seem. Oh, you did good. Domovoy very happy not to be in very bad place. Domovoy very happy not to be dried up. Well, yeah. Bad place Domovoy all better now. Bad place Domovoy now live in Burgomeister's place. Maybe good luck to Burgomeister. You help me, then I help you. You want me big hero? You want to make many people happy? You want to make friends and influence people? First, 
To be plenty good hero, need to be very, very powerful. If not very skilled, you die. If not very smart, you die. Oh, no more hero. You threatening me? <laughs> Domovoy tells story. Okay. Yuri and Bela have daughter Tanya. Lovely daughter. Laughing daughter. One day, Tanya taken away, all because of doll. A doll? Tanya, sweet, sweet child. Tanya like everyone. Then Bela have dream. Dream Tanya taken away. Bela very scared. Not let Tanya play outside. Not let Tanya have friends. Tanya get scared of dark. Tanya many times alone at back of inn in dark. Aww. One day, monster come. Big, big monster. Friendly monster. He visit Tanya's window. He talk to Tanya. Tanya not afraid of dark. Tanya now have monster friend. One night, Tanya very, very unhappy. So monster take Tanya away. Monster want to make Tanya happy. Now Tanya gone. Tanya gone to castle. Hmm. No one see Tanya leave. No one see Tanya go. No one but Domovoy. Domovoy tried to stop Tanya, but too late, too late. Tanya already outside with Monster. How does no the doll fit in? Bela, no tell Yuri. Very bad thing. Tanya need hero. <laughs> Not dead parents. Only brave, powerful hero save Tanya. One night, Tanya get beautiful doll. Tanya not have doll before. Tanya love doll very, very much. Bela very, very scared. Where doll come from? Yuri very, very scared. Who gave doll to Tanya? Take doll away. Make Tanya very, very sad. Bela hide doll in cabinet. You take doll. Tanya love doll. Maybe you help Tanya, hmm? No talk Bela. No show Bela doll. Make Bela very scared. Make Bela very unhappy. Hmm. You take doll. You take doll to Tanya someday, hmm? Someday you very powerful hero. You take doll to Tanya. Hey, I just realized if I'd found her I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Because I don't have the doll. You open the cabinet and see a lovely doll. You carefully remove the elegant doll from the cabinet and store it in your pack. Okay. Now I get to sleep the rest of the night. You what little of it is left. I'll basically get to doze off. It's probably oh god, it's already light out. No, I don't get much sleep tonight. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. But you feel as though you haven't slept at all. Duh. What's this? The note reads, Please meet me tonight outside the town gates. I will be waiting. It's signed, Your friend Katrina. Hmm. Alrighty. I see no way this can go wrong. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.